Imagine waking up in the morning and visualizing a plate of delicious chocolate muffins. Right at that moment, your phone buzzes with an alert. We've detected you're craving something sweet. Why not make a healthier choice instead? It might sound like science fiction, but this is only one application that neurotechnology will bring us in the upcoming years. Welcome to our video on the future of neurotechnology. Neurotechnology is a rapidly growing field that has the potential to revolutionize the way we understand and treat the brain. It covers all the developments created to comprehend, observe, and even control, repair or enhance brain functions. In this video, we will explore the latest developments in neurotechnology and what they could mean for the future of medicine, mental health, and human performance amongst other things. Importantly, we will also look at the potential ethical and societal implications of this technology. One of the most exciting areas of neurotechnology is the development of brain-computer interfaces. Brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, are a rapidly advancing area of neurotechnology that allows for direct communication between the brain and a computer or other electronic device. BCIs can be used to help people with paralysis or other motor impairments to regain control of their limbs, as well as to enhance human cognitive abilities. For individuals with paralysis or motor impairments, BCIs can provide a new level of independence and autonomy, allowing them to perform tasks such as moving a wheelchair or controlling a prosthetic limb with their thoughts alone. BCIs also have the potential to improve the quality of life for individuals with conditions such as ALS, spinal cord injuries, and stroke. Additionally, BCIs can be used for non-medical purposes like gaming, communication, and control of home appliances. With the increasing capabilities of BCI technology, the potential benefits are broad and far-reaching, making it a promising area of research for the future. To revolutionize the world of neurotechnology, large tech companies are launching unprecedented projects. In 2016, Elon Musk, a renowned inventor and founder of Tesla and SpaceX, pioneered Neuralink to design an implantable brain-machine interface. Through minimal invasive surgery, this groundbreaking technology will insert ultra-fine wires, 5 microns in diameter, into one cerebral cortex for both transmitting and receiving data seamlessly. Established in the same year, Kernel has been able to create a non-invasive brain interface prototype based on near-infrared spectroscopy. Currently, this technology is presented as a helmet device that can identify emotions and other such states of being. Even tech giants like Facebook and Google are jumping into the development of their own neurotechnology projects. With the rapid advances in neurotechnology, brain implants have emerged as a viable treatment for many neurological and psychiatric disorders. Also referred to as neural or neuroprosthetics, these devices are surgically implanted into the brain to support functioning and alleviate symptoms associated with various conditions. The potential of this technology continues to expand, allowing individuals suffering from different ailments an opportunity for improved quality of life. One of the most well-known applications of brain implants is in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's is a degenerative disorder that affects the brain's ability to control movement. Deep brain stimulation, or DBS, is a surgical procedure that involves implanting electrodes into specific areas of the brain to help alleviate symptoms such as tremors and stiffness. DBS has been found to be highly effective in reducing symptoms and improving the quality of life for people with Parkinson's. Brain implants are also being developed for the treatment of other neurological disorders such as epilepsy, dystonia, and chronic pain. Additionally, research is ongoing to develop brain implants for the treatment of psychiatric disorders such as depression, schizophrenia, and OCD. Another promising area of research is the use of brain implants to restore lost functions in people with spinal cord injuries or paralysis. These devices work by bypassing the damaged area of the spinal cord and connecting the brain directly to the muscles, allowing people to regain control of their limbs and perform tasks such as moving a wheelchair or controlling a prosthetic limb. While the potential benefits of brain implants are significant, there are also potential risks to consider. Surgery to implant the device carries risks as well as long-term risks such as infection, bleeding, and device failure. Additionally, there are ethical considerations surrounding the use of brain implants, including the potential for misuse and the long-term effects on the individual's autonomy and privacy. 
The development of brain implants for the treatment of neurological and psychiatric disorders is a rapidly advancing area of neurotechnology with the potential to greatly improve the lives of people with these conditions. However, ongoing research and ethical considerations are necessary to ensure that the benefits of this technology outweigh the risks. In addition to these specific applications, there are many other areas of neurotechnology that are in the early stages of development. For example, researchers are working on developing new techniques for mapping the brain, which could lead to a better understanding of the neural mechanisms that underlie mental disorders. This is all great, but what about the many potential ethical and societal implications of neurotechnology? Let's look at that next. As we gain the ability to alter the brain and our cognitive abilities, we will need to consider the implications for personal identity, privacy, and security. The ethical and societal implications of neurotechnology are complex and multifaceted. Some of the key considerations include Personal identity As neurotechnology advances, it may become possible to alter the brain in ways that fundamentally change a person's personality, memories, or cognitive abilities. This raises questions about what it means to be human and the nature of personal identity. Privacy and security Brain-computer interfaces and other neurotechnology devices may collect and transmit sensitive information about a person's thoughts, emotions, and behavior. This raises concerns about privacy and the potential for misuse of this information. Social inequality Neurotechnology has the potential to create new forms of social inequality, as those who can afford to enhance their cognitive abilities or treat neurological disorders may have a significant advantage over those who cannot. Access to care There is a risk that neurotechnology will only be accessible to a small subset of the population, creating inequalities in access to care and treatment for neurological and psychiatric disorders. Human Enhancement As technology advances, some people may use neurotechnology to enhance their cognitive abilities, physical abilities, or even their mood. This raises ethical questions about what is acceptable and what is not, and can lead to concerns about fairness and creating a two-tier society. Autonomy and informed consent As neurotechnology becomes more sophisticated, there is the potential for it to be used to manipulate or control people's thoughts and behaviors. This raises concerns about autonomy and the importance of informed consent in the use of neurotechnology. According to Scientific American, neuro rights need to advance alongside the growth of neurotechnology. In time, private companies may have access to immense amounts of data gathered from these devices and it is essential that such personal information be safeguarded against potential risks like epigenetic changes, neurological difficulties or its use for biohacking purposes. Neuro rights are integral in protecting us now as well as into the future. Overall, the ethical and societal implications of neurotechnology are complex and will require ongoing dialogue and debate to address. In conclusion, the field of neurotechnology is rapidly advancing and has the potential to revolutionize the way we understand and treat the brain. While there are many exciting developments on the horizon, it is important to consider the ethical and societal implications of this technology as well. We hope that you found this video informative, and we look forward to seeing what the future holds for neurotechnology. Thank you for watching.